is up my people it is your boy dino slay and today we are finally back again with some more the walking dead baby i have been waiting to make another video on this game right here been waiting been i've been fiending for it been fiending so yes we were on we were on episode one. We did not finish episode one. We were in like the store. That was like the the part where we were in the the angry man had the his whole little heart attack or whatever. And yeah, all right. Well, let's get let's get right into it. Let's continue. This was where we were at. Whew. Finally, I've, I've been waiting. All right, so here we are. We were in. We were in here. We were looking at the store leads this to the back house. Yeah. Okay. How you doing? Hey. <clears throat> Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. <clears throat> I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. She's so cute. Little Clementine. Alright, let's see. Examine the came in here hoping to survive. <clears throat> but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Possibly. There they all are. Oh, man. track down the keys to the office I know who you are you're Lee Everett you're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife this is your parents store folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta I paid attention to that trial maybe you're a murderer but I don't really care frankly that's a skill that might come in handy <laughs> did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place Sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan it. Good, because if this lasts longer what than a few days, it, and you're a detriment to the group, have said that then we have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Let's continue on. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. <laughs> Luckily? Where's in that bat? Oh, it's his cane. It's his dad's cane. His What's dad's that? pimp cane. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. And this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. My dad gave it to me. Hey, dad's just smart like that. Was a sweet little moment. Better get this door clear, huh? 
Can I help? Sure. Why not? Here we go. Watch your fingers in the door. Yeah, Clementine's so strong. She better hope. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Aww. Okay, here we go. <laughs> ah, good job, Clementine. She's so strong. Look at her go. Do you have kids? Oh, no. <laughs> you don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Ah, oh, no, but I want to answer it. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, uh, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Poor little Clementine. Okay, okay, okay. What's that? Oh, that's a TV. Okay, let's, we gotta get in here. It's locked. I... We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. Where are said keys? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll uh, track us down. <sighs> oh, excuse, excuse me. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. We should keep a lookout. Uh, I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Hey. Let's see if we can do something about it. No, I don't okay. have a. Well, it's not broken. Well, of course it's not broken. It's just like a like a scrape or, or a scratch or something. Lee, my finger still hurts. Ah, right. Uh, there's a first aid kit in here. Oh. Oh, it's just because he said that. <sighs> right. I'm trim. I don't know why. I'd... I'm so. I'm such a goofy goober. Gosh. I'm sorry, guys. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Well, don't do Let's that again, do Lee. Alright. Now we Let's can put the band aid on it. Yes, please. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Nice, there we go. All patched up. All good. It's all good now. 
How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Yeah. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Alrighty. That's what I figured. <sighs> well, it was worth a try. All right, now we can Wanna step head out. back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Now she's gonna have back with me. Yeah. Yes. You're not bad, right? I. Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen, and you do things and. You can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. I want to be truthful with her. I want. I want to be real. I'm. A, I'm gonna be real with you, Clementine. I'm gonna be real with you. You know, as as real as possible, of course. You know, as as real as possible in the way that it's like. You know, I'm not trying to scare her either. You feel me? Hey there. This is Glenn. Oh, and, Glenn. Uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Oh. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. All righty. Hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah. Hmm. I'm in. Good. I just realized Doesn't something. He said bad zombies. There right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I Interesting that he said that, because in The Walking Dead, at least in the series, like the actual show, they're not supposed to know what zombies are. Like, zombies don't exist in their universe. So it's interesting that he said that. Whoa. Oh, right, no, okay, no, no, no. We're not coming back in here. Okay, I, th I thought... Wait, wait, no, 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 Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, no, 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 actually, hold on, hold on. Never mind, never mind, I lied again. Hold on, give me a second. Let's, let's see what's going on over here. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are going to rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Alrighty, fair. Soda fountain. Can we get some soda? Oh man. I mean, we could still eat it though, as long as it's you know not, not like bad. As long as it hasn't gone bad. If the ice cream is just melted, we could still eat it. We already seen those. Mm -hmm. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? <clears throat> Yes, yes. Now let's go have a look around. Let's outside. have a look around. Okay. Yes, because we need to help Glenn get out anyways right now. So we kind of need to have a look around outside. Jesus. Yeah. It is not looking good. Oh, my. Eat. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Huh. <laughs> what? Hey man, what are you doing? 
We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Well, uh, it's not like it's gonna work. What, what are you worried about that as if it's actually gonna work? That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. <clears throat> the keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. That's his yeah, brother. His brother is dead out there. Get them. Is dead out Wouldn't there. Long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. A few uh, seconds of searching it, we'll know if he has the keys. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dark nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Oh yeah, there, there they go. I got a few of them to take notice. Oh man. Crap. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. I can't look at him like that. Fair. you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He doesn't mm. tech stuff and it just made sense. Mm. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? Hmm. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Mm-hmm. You knew them all right. Okay. Well, I really thought that TV thing was gonna work. I guess not. I can't reach that brick. Oh man. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. Now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Okay, so we can't even open this. Maybe, maybe, okay. Let me talk to him, let's go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. 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 We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta be, become the thinker, alright? We gotta become the thinker up here, alright? Ready? Let's see. So. We need the combination. Maybe we can find that combination somewhere in here. Right. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. What? I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. All right then. Oh, Doctor Carly. Hey, Connie. Hey, Carly. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? In a minute. Okay, let me know. head out? Why head out with her? Will she say anything different? Maybe she'll know something else? Hmm. Uh, let's look around a little bit more before we do anything like that. 
I kind of I want to look around a little bit more. Let's There's see. no getting in there from out here. That grate does its job. Okay. Hey. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. I don't I don't think I want to tell her that. <laughs> What's up? Where's Clementine at? Is she in here? Oh, well, no, I, well, but she follows me in here, though. Okay. Hmm. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Okay. I'm gonna keep looking around. So she doesn't okay. have anything else to say right now. Got it, got it. Okay. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here, but I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Maybe we should go outside with uh, Carly, because it doesn't seem like there's really there's nothing else I could do right now. Yeah, let's let's go outside with Carly then. Let's go see. I haven't found any other batteries. Is there any other batteries? There has to be, right? You know what, maybe, let me look around a little bit more. Let me look around a little bit more. Why don't we? No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> well, yeah, we already heard that joke. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. It's not damaged. And this place didn't get looted. Hmm. Alright, let, let's let's talk to Carly a little. Let's let's go. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's go. <sighs> Wait, what? Get down. How did we get out? Wait, so there's like a back door and we went out through the back door then, I guess? Okay. Did you see that? I sure did. That's, um, that's Glenn. Ready to shoot. That's Glenn. Guys. Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Okay, so we came to pick up Glenn, right? Uh, right this wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. Can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go <laughs> save this damsel in distress. That's. I guess. Alright. I gotta be real quiet about this. Real quiet, real sneaky. That guy's definitely alive. That one's still moving, I know. 100%. I'm so sure of it. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Always attracts these things. Exactly. Now let's have a look around. Okay. Wait for too long. It will be seen. The girl's behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. Okay. 
there's one back there, trying to get into a room, but I didn't see anyone actually in there. We can hide by that RV, if we're quiet and keep our heads down. Eating something. So we got that one right there, close. Okay. We made it. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. We're going to need weapons. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Ah, no, no, I didn't mean to come back here. Okay. No, okay. Let me go, let's go, we're going back over here. Come on now, Glenn. Back over here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now we're gonna go over here. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Huh. What in the world am I supposed to do? Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. No, we need... I don't know... Uh... Maybe... We... Okay, hold on. Let me head back to the wall again. Hmm. This is quite this situation okay so nothing ah okay let's go over here instead let's go this way yeah alrighty I wonder if there's anything in the pickup Is ah, uh, but we'd have to break the window for that, and that would not be a very good thing. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fella looking near the front. Mm, okay. Yeah, I found one, but I don't want to do that. It'll be loud. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Can I? Fuck it. I might just have to. Ow. Hey, man, that drew some attention. Be careful. He didn't break it, and I don't. I don't know if I believe. That he can now because of that. Okay. What exactly am I supposed to do here, man? Hello. 
Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Wow. Okay. Let's look around. They really want to get into that room. That they do. Hmm. 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 Hold on. I think there's anything to do with this pillow. Oh, wait a minute. Bruh. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay ah. right behind me. Pillow sick. silencer, baby. Yeah. That worked. There we go. We're, we're, we're getting some, some there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I use that to throw it at the window and break it? Oh, but wouldn't that be way too loud? It's a spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Okay. Let's go back to the truck. Yes! We're good. Now, we grab the screwdriver. Yes! That scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yes! You see? With a little bit of brain. With a little bit of brain. Things can be get done. Huh. Wait, hold on. Can I get that one now? Since the other two are covered with the RV. Right? You feel me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe if we go through here this way though first, right? <clears throat> and then we go on ahead and never mind. No, we have to Okay. Well then, in that case, let's go back this way and let's get this motherfucker with the screwdriver. Should be able to do it sneaky. Don't turn around, please don't turn around. You have to be. I didn't expect for there to be a, a like a thing that I would have to do. Are you serious, dude? Uh, oh man. Okay, let's let's try that again. <clears throat> now that we're prepared this time, I'm ready. Okay, this time I'm ready. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Boom. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Alrighty. So, now, what if we go back here, though, real quick, right? Hmm. Alright, now I can look over here as much as I want. Which is good. Or not, because it doesn't do anything for me, I guess. Okay, hold on. I say we go, now we go back over here to that other car. We push that car. go to this car and now we push it now we push it yes slowly but surely that doesn't seem to be very strong that was awesome yes okay okay we're still good we're still good all right cool um okay so now we go over here get that guy then we go for the other one boom 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 okay i got it so we go over here and now it's not two i mean there's still two but not two that we have to deal with at the same time because that other one is trapped now There we go. Okay, okay, that kind of scared me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, and it, it scared me in a way that I stayed speechless. I couldn't even say anything. Oh yeah, and my axe thing is already broken and stuff. There we go. Oh crap! Well, there goes my screwdriver. Oh man. Hey, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! It's cool. Now we've got this. Hell yeah. Are you two done? Oh yeah, we do. Oh yeah, baby. No more. That should help. I think I've done quite well. Alrighty. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Ah yes, of course. Let me go by myself, and of course I'm the. Oh great, great idea, Lee. Great idea. Perfect. Okay. Boom. Oh yeah, baby. Rad. Rad indeed. Radical. There we go. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. You might want to break through that board first. So we we doing this? All right. Screw it. Bro, this hole better stop, not kill me. Stop. I'm coming out. Okay. You're hurt. Oh god. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late. For she's that. bit. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. To calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? 
I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a oh, gun. Oh, shit. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. She's booing. I mean. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, this makes me feel a lot better because... God bless you, all right? God bless you, too. My goodness. I mean, <clears throat> it's better that way. I mean, it's either that or she turns. At the end of the day, she was gonna, you know, she, it was either she suffers or she, she goes. Everyone all right? Out. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Alrighty. Oh, now, now we can use the, the axe. Huh. Dude, are we gonna use the axe to break it down? No, wrong way. No, 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 wrong way. Oh, Glenn. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. Bro, there was no hope. There was no combination hope. for the lock on the gate outside. Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Okay, do you know the combination or not? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Hmm. So now... Or no, wait. I mean, we could. We could just axe that shit down. Or not, right? It's a steel door, right? Right, my bad. Never mind, never mind. I'm, I'm, that was a little bit 
Um, a little bit dumb of me to think. I, I completely forgot it was like a whole like steel door, not just a regular door. But I mean, hey, we have an axe now, which is very good. I can ask so many people questions. You see what I did there? You see what I ask. I'm gonna be quiet now. I'm sorry. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Alrighty. What a newspaper. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Hmm. Court board. Okay. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? <clears throat> hmm. Let's have a look around. Okay. The thing is, I don't think there's anything else here that I can do right now. You feel me? Right? So... Hmm. Yeah, but that would make a lot of noise. Wait, hold on. Actually, let me go back. Let's go back inside real quick. Let's head back inside. Okay. Let me talk to Carly. See if there's anything that she has to say. Any new things she has to say or anything like that. And then we'll, uh... We'll see what we can do. <laughs> Why are you smiling? story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. You know what? Screw it. Let's say the thing. Let's say the thing to the. <laughs> Let's tell her that her father has a temper. How's he doing? He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that. Yeah. Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Here. Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Alrighty. Okay, that didn't end as badly as I thought it was gonna end. Hmm. Let's see, I don't know, can we hey, see anything guys. else to these guys? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Alright, you never mind, I guess we can not say anything different. You got it. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Hmm. I don't remember them very well. I already, I already looked at those and stuff. Hmm. I don't know, man. There's not really anything How else I can do. Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Let's see. Let's go outside and then let's see the dialogue options I have with them. And we're gonna do all of them. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. Okay. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has some, but who knows if he actually worked here. 
I know, I have the picture for proof. What if I just... Oh. Awesome. Now oh, distract those just things. like that, huh? Okay. Carefully. Ah! Can't reach that brick. Why? Oh, I gotta open it. Don't open it. Don't open it that much. Grab the brick. <laughs> yes. Yeet that hoe. Yeet that hoe. Yeet. Oh yeah, that that's that. Now that's some noise. Now that is some noise. That's getting all the attention. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they having a little party over there. Now's the time. Oh yeah, now is definitely the time. Go. I'm Audi. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Mm. Oh, this sucks. This severely sucks. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah, I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Why would you scream, idiot? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you are to take care of them. Finish them off. We gotta do what we gotta do. Oh my god. Please just go for the head for the love of god. she would have done that a little bit more quiet but let's let's get the keys and let's get out of here for the love of god please there we, there go. we go oh <laughs> he said the same thing at the same time holy crap run <clears throat> oh boy holy crap indeed and now we can't lock this shit. And, not, and he fell. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Yeah, now we're gonna be breaking in through that door. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Let's. The keys, the keys, not the axe. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Why is why? Is that happening? Why is the alarm why did the alarm go off? Oh no. Oh she has a screwdriver, we should take that. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. This is not good. Oh no. Doc, come on, maybe time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled This is very not good. Fast. 
I need to take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, oh yeah. We don't make it through this. You should know. Oh my. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. <laughs> Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. oh shiz indeed. Come in time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Oh! Come on, Clementine. Clementine, find something quick, please. Oh my god. Lee's a strong man. The pimp cane. Yes. Oh man, I kind of wish we would be able to keep it though. Oh no, Doug! Can you not, Carly, can you not shoot him? Are you serious? Doug, I'm sorry, homie. Doug, I'm sorry, bruh. She didn't have a mag. No, get him off me. She has a gun, man. I'm sorry, bro. She had the gun. She was, oh my goodness. Oh my god. Let's go! I'm sorry, Doug. You got Doug. If I'm being quiet on the true idea. Oh my god! No, you don't. No, you don't. Get the fuck off. Get the fuck off of Clementine. Now that is one person that you will never get. Fuck all of y'all. Oh shoot. <laughs> what the fuck? You piece of. This motherfucker. Oh. Fuck yeah, Kenny. Especially a good friend. Let's fucking go. That's my boy. Fuck yeah, that's my boy Kenny. That's my boy Kenny right there. That's my boy Kenny right there. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kenny the goat. Kenny the goat. Uh, fucking love Kenny, bro. Hell yeah. Fuck that motherfucker. What's his name? Larry or whatever? Piece of crap. He should have been the one to go, not Doug. Even though Doug's a little slow, Doug would have probably died anyway. If I'm be oh my goodness, the girl is there. Wow, that is a lot of bodies. That is so fucked up for a girl to be, a little girl to be seeing, or right? anybody to be seeing. Quite, quite honestly, but Jesus Christ, that's terrible. Oh. Oh. Well then, that is some more people that have been now bodied. <clears throat> Alrighty. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. It would land. Yeah, I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening yet. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Can you just look over it? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. You know, I never knew if I want. Like, is this? 
cannon with also like just find your friends be safe thanks Lee that means a lot I don't mean to abandon you all but this seems like an okay setup and I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time let's hope you guys be safe we'll try and Lee you know if this doesn't get better people are going to give up with the girl from upstairs are you just gonna let them you told Carly to give her the gun yeah I did maybe you were right I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Like, is this? Are they can? Are they in the same universe, or is this like another The Walking Dead universe? You know what I mean? I never uh, like searched that up, so I have no idea. <laughs> shit happened. I just realized the back of the truck says shit happened. That is kind of funny. Um. Hey kid. Close call back there. <clears throat> that it was. No problem. We have Hell to yeah. take care of each other. Kenny's yeah, the goat. We do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. <laughs> See what's up with this. Oh, it's Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. <coughs> Fair. Wait, Lee? Yes. What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Anyways... Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. I like Carly as a character better if I'm being clear. Uh, Stug is cool, but look at that son of a bitch you know staring what? me down. No, Fuck you, man. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell. And my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Oh, fuck this oh, guy. Man. Another thing. Bro, what Duck, shut the You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead. 
because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. We'll, we'll see about that. Oh. Well, you got you were saying. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Who the fuck is us? Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! the end of the first episode um i hope you guys have enjoyed have <laughs> i hope you guys have been enjoying this episode hold on let's let's see what's going on here honesty lied to herschel you and 54 per, four percent of players were honest who would you save you and 50 Two percent of players chose Duck. You and fifty-four percent of Bennett Kenny gave Irene the gun. You and forty-seven percent of players who oh wow, most people chose Doug. So for the most part, I I mean for the most part, I got around the same thing that most people did. Now that doesn't mean that I did the right or wrong choice. I mean it's really up to you know you to in interpret whether you think that was the right. A wrong choice but um yeah plus Carly had the gun so <sighs> what if we would have lost that gun and you know Carly can come in handy with that gun Doug doesn't have gun experience so but um yeah I mean I, I hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode of the first season we'll be getting on to the next episode when I get the chance don't worry, I know. I still have Spider-Man, but I think we're gonna do, um, we're gonna try to do a bit more of the, of uh, The Walking Dead, since we only, right now, only have two parts for The Walking Dead at the moment, and we have, like, six parts for Spider-Man. Um, so, that, or, I'm gonna try my best to keep it at an equal. Maybe I'll try to do two videos a day when I can like a video on The Walking Dead and then a video on Spider-Man. So I'll see, maybe I'll even do a video later today on Spider-Man, Spider I'm not sure, maybe even right now, like after this, but um, we'll see. Well, I, again, I hope you guys have been enjoying the series and enjoyed this episode. And um, let's see, can I skip this? Okay, there we go. I'll resume game. Oh, okay, so that was just, should we just let this go? I mean, what do, what do we do here? What are we gonna do? Still not bitten team. Creative director. Uh, well, I'm not gonna miss. Oh, never mind. 
No, I think it just ended. I was going to say, I'm not going to make you guys go through all this credits and stuff like that, because I was expecting it for it to be way longer than that, but no, it seems to be done and over with. But, um, alright, well, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I hope you guys have an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, night, day, in general, whatever time it is, wherever you are, and... I'll see you guys in the next episode. It's been your boy, Dino Slay. I love y'all. Peace.